oh yes, I did. What'd you tell her? I just said, sweetie, we finally got the answers we've been praying for. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray And us justice God. will be served. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Thursday at 9, 8 central for Dateline's Thursday Night Mystery. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. Your one news source. This is News Center One. Good evening, I'm Shad Olson. This is News Center One at 10. With great sadness, the Black Hills National Forest confirming tonight the name of the Rapid City firefighter who died yesterday in California. 38 year old Dave Rule was on temporary assignment responding to the frog fire within the Modoc National Forest outside of Alturas, California. A search and rescue began late Thursday evening when the Forest Service could not make contact with Rule. His body was found this morning. Dave was engine captain on the Mystic Ranger District of the Black Hills National Forest. He started his Forest Service career in 2001, previously serving in the United States Coast Guard and as a correctional officer with the state of South Dakota. He lived in Rapid City with his wife and two children. Further details will follow pending a Forest Service investigation. No updates tonight on a body that was found this morning at a home in the 400 block of East Watertown in Rapid City. Currently, police say that there is an active death investigation underway in that incident. Officers are in contact with the Criminal Investigations Division, and they will provide more information just as soon as it becomes available. A federal magistrate entering not guilty pleas today on federal charges, including hate crimes against Dylan Roof. Roof, of course, accused of going on a shooting rampage in Charleston, South Carolina, in a church last month where he killed nine parishioners. According to the lead attorney for Roof in the federal government's case, Roof says he would like to plead guilty, but his attorney will not enter a guilty plea until prosecutors say whether they will seek the death penalty. Roof is facing numerous state charges, including nine counts of murder, in addition to the federal charges. Moving overseas tonight, an experimental Ebola vaccine that's been tested on thousands is now showing promise, and it's offering experts some relief and some hope in that epidemic in West Africa that it will finally come to an end. The World Health Organization announcing today that initial results show the vaccine is 100% effective after 10 days in preventing infection with the disease. The trials began in March in the West African nation of Guinea. BSV EBOV is the official name of the experimental vaccine against Ebola. The vaccine was administered on a voluntary basis to both frontline Ebola workers and people who have been in contact with Ebola patients. Experts in the medical field calling that development absolutely miraculous and saying that it signals a bright future for mankind in terms of battling one of the most horrific diseases that we face. It's an all-too-frequent news story. Children left in sweltering cars, sometimes with fatal results. There have been several incidents around the country just this week. The latest in New Jersey, where bystanders and police rescued a child, then confronted the mother as cameras, cameras were rolling. NBC's Stephanie Gosk reports. By the time a New Jersey police officer busted into the car, the two-year-old was drenched in sweat, crying hysterically. She's soaking wet. His mother returned with a full grocery cart and her other child. You left her in the car. No, sorry. She could have died. The toddler is okay, while the mother has been charged with child endangerment. She says she left her son because he was sleeping. The temperature in a car can shoot up 20 degrees in just 10 minutes. Yet somehow not all parents are getting the message. Here's the mother. In Oklahoma Tuesday, Hannah Secondi says she left her one-year-old in the car for 45 minutes. Oh God, I can't believe I did that. Secondi's baby is fine, but she was charged with child abuse. Oklahoma is one of 19 states with laws against leaving children unattended in cars. There are four states so far that protect good Samaritans who break into cars, but there is a push to do even more. We need to put a huge campaign together, get the auto industry, the government, all the safety advocates on the same page. There's already new technology, a car seat built with an alarm that sounds when the ignition is turned off even apps on our phones. Like the smartphone app that I'm using right now, it's called Remember the Kids. It uses the phone's GPS to sense when I'm driving. When I stop driving, it deactivates. 
when you get out, the app sends you an alert. To some, it may seem obvious. Who needs alarms? Who doesn't know that a car gets hot? For now, the answer still is a lot of us. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. And today, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration renewing efforts to prevent such occurrences as part of National Heat Stroke Prevention Day. Together with parents, introducing a campaign called Where's Baby? Look Before You Lock. Even on a 77 degree day, the temperature inside a car can reach over 120 degrees within one hour. It's not just parents that need to stay aware. Anyone who sees a child in a hot car can do something. Five years ago, Reggie McKinnon lost his daughter Peyton after leaving her in a hot car. Accident, every time I would read of a child dying in a parked car from heat stroke, I too would ask, how could they forget their child? I would never do that. It only happens to people who are uneducated, drunk, drug addicts, not me. Children's bodies heat up three to five times faster than an adult's because they simply don't have the body mass to cool themselves as efficiently. Just remember, look before you lock. President Barack Obama scolding the Republican-led Congress today for funding transportation projects, quote, by the seat of our pants, end quote. The president signing a three-month transportation bill that keeps money flowing to the states for road projects through October. The Senate passed the $8 billion extension yesterday, just one day before the deadline when funding for construction projects would have stopped. This is the 34th short-term transportation measure since 2009, and the president says it's a bad way for the U.S. government to do business. You can't have bridges collapsing and potholes not being filled. Uh, because uh, Congress can't come up with an adequate plan to fund our infrastructure budget uh, for more than three or five or six months at a time. The Senate has passed a six-year transportation bill that it claims will not raise taxes, and senators say that they're hopeful that House members will approve that measure coming up this fall. And here's a look at today's markets on Wall Street. And on this Friday, we say goodbye to another trading week and indeed to the month of July as well. The Dow Jones declining yet again today, down 56 points, 17,690. Some analysts saying that we have indeed entered the dog days of summer on the markets. The Nasdaq Composite down 1 to 5,128. The S&P down 5 to 2,104. And gold is up $6.30 to $1,095 even on this Friday day of trade. Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio joining us, and uh, weather-wise, our, our stocks couldn't be much higher right now. No, no. Pretty, pretty nice stuff out Very there. nice, and we expect a very nice weekend as well. A lot of yep. sunshine. Uh, temperatures warming up a little bit. After all, this is end of July, early August. This is one of the hottest times of the year for uh, us living here in the uh, Black Hills. These are the high temperatures across the uh, Black Hills, and you can see upper 80s generally, but a little bit warmer tomorrow. But 92 up there in uh, Buffalo, 88 out at Ellsworth, Spearfish, 84, 81. Down in Custer, we expect to see some 90s uh, up, and, up and around the Black Hills uh, tomorrow and Sunday. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll get uh, more details coming up in Bob's forecast in just a bit. We're back with more news after the break right here on News Center 1 at 10. This is News Center 1 with Chad Olson. Sports with Justin Wickersham. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. Of all the sales happening now, one is different. Fisher Furniture's Summer Sale and Clearance. This is the one sale where you get real savings on the home furnishings you really want. Furniture and mattresses, appliances, even HDTVs. Find savings on top of savings in every department. And if that's not enough, take three years to pay interest-free. Once a year summer savings and three years interest-free financing. This is a great time to buy home furnishings. The Summer Sale and Clearance through Monday at all three Fearless Fisher stores in Rapid City. Join us at the Central States Fair August 14th through the 23rd as we celebrate 70 years of food on a stick. Grandstand passes are on sale now for nine nights of fun, including Super Cross Races, Johnson Machine Napa Demo Derby, Black Hills Power Concert Series featuring Randy Hauser, Big and Rich, and the Eli Young Band. The Ranch Rodeo is back along with three nights of PRCA Rodeo. Grandstand passes are on sale now at these outlets or online. Make plans now for the 70th Annual Central States Fair in Rapid City. We're here on the streets of Nashville, introducing people to Culver's fresh frozen custard. How are you guys liking the frozen custard? It's so good. So it's got rich, fresh dairy, and that's what gives it that really creamy texture. One word to describe it. Craveable. Very smooth. Perfect. Better than ice cream. 
creamy and cool. That's nice. Be a custard hero. Introduce somebody to Culver's fresh frozen custard. It almost tastes like it's homemade. I think somebody loves it. It's good. Welcome to Delicious. Introducing the new Can-Am Spider F3. With a cruising riding position and the most advanced vehicle stability system in the industry, you'll ride with a feeling of complete freedom and confidence. Visit your Can-Am Spider dealer and test drive one today. The new Spider F3. Riding has evolved. Rice Honda Suzuki in Rapid City. Test ride one today. Happy anniversary to me. It's Safeway's anniversary. Happy anniversary to me. But you're the one who's going to save some serious money. Happy anniversary to me. Now with your club card, ribeye steak in the value pack is $5.88 a pound. Pepsi 24 packs are $4.99. And 59-ounce Tropicana orange juice is $1.99. Happy anniversary to me. Safeway's anniversary sale. It's huge. Come see your local American family agent, Mike Brewer, for all your insurance needs. Stop in or call today. The VA Black Hills Health Care System has a warning for local veterans tonight. That agency is saying that some veterans' files were mistakenly thrown away into a trash can at the Hot Springs VA facility. A VA employee quickly discovered the files, and VA police immediately secured those files. There is no indication that sensitive veteran information has been targeted or will be misused, but veterans are being notified just in case they want to take steps to protect against identity theft or other financial harm. Notification letters, which give instructions on credit monitoring, have now been sent to all veterans who might possibly be affected by that mistaken disposal. State lawmakers worried about education will not get the chance to address the issue. An attempt by lawmakers to call a special session of the South Dakota legislature to discuss education funding has failed. Republican Representative Elizabeth May of Kyle had spearfed, or spearheaded the unsuccessful effort. She's been critical of a state task force studying South Dakota's education funding for excluding the costs of the state's adoption of the Common Core standards from discussion. May says that she still thinks that there's support for a special session, but she says it's now up to the people of South Dakota to put pressure on their legislators in order to hold one. Again, law enforcement stressing caution on the roads, and it's not just other vehicles you have to watch out for during the Sturgis rally. A motorcycle colliding with a deer on Interstate 90 early this morning. Since Tuesday, the Highway Patrol says there have been a total of 16 non-injury accidents in Sturgis and the Rapid City area, and 18 accidents with injuries. Motorcycle traffic, visitors and vendors continuing to flood into the city of Sturgis. As of this morning, the city of Sturgis had issued 745 temporary vendor licenses. That's compared to only 510 licenses at this same time last year. And just a traffic reminder, Main Street in Sturgis has been closed to all traffic except for motorcycles and many of the city's side streets have similar traffic restrictions already in place. While the focus of the rally is on Sturgis, the city of Rapid City also welcomes bikers to explore its downtown streets and shops. Meteorologist Dan Zabosian has more on what Rapid City has to offer. If you're rolling into downtown Rapid City on anything with less than four wheels, your stay comes with free parking, compliments of the Rapid City Police Department. The biggest benefit uh, really is, is that it, it opens the downtown uh, corridor a little bit. There's a lot of business owners that could really benefit from bringing the, the biker crowd in, uh, you know, from restaurants to, to retail shops to, to bars. Even some areas around town will be designated motorcycle parking only. Uh, there's several businesses downtown that really want uh, designated motorcycle parking only in front of their businesses. There's none on St. Joe, but on Main Street, uh, it's part of the block in the 500 block, part of the block in the 600 block, mostly on the, on the north side, uh, part of the block in the 700 block, and uh, just a little bit in the 800 block as well. It's just part, parts of those blocks so that we still do have availability for car parking. Once you have hit up the restaurants, shops, and finished your favorite brew, just a short walk from Main Street is Doll Art Center featuring a first-of-its-kind motorcycle art exhibit. Displays feature iconic work from local artists along with world-known motorcycle photographers. It's a contemporary exhibit uh, that is focusing on the people that have sustained 75 years of uh, one of the largest motorcycle gatherings in the world. And it goes without saying, every biker has rode into a common nasty Black Hills thunderstorm at least once during Rally Week. 
we didn't want this exhibit to focus on the outrageous. We wanted the exhibit to focus on the hardworking men and women that come every year to the rally, uh, ride the hills, um, support the event, make friends in communities that they visit. The gallery is free and open six days a week. From News Center One, I'm meteorologist Anz Bozian. And you will see the designated motorcycle parking only areas in four starting tomorrow, and that will last through August 8th. Five years in the making, and today an unveiling that is just as unconventional as the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally itself. Instead of a traditional ribbon cutting, what could be more fitting, sparks flying today as chains were cut, as in motorcycle chains, were cut for Rally Point Park. That's a new addition to the city of Sturgis. Back in March, a groundbreaking was held for Rally Point Park. Almost four months later, it's ready and open for business and bikers. The mayor of Sturgis, Mark Karstensen, commemorating the event with hundreds in attendance. Rally Point Park will now be open year-round. No worries for the weekend as far as temperatures go, as we've already mentioned with Bob Riggio tonight. Sunny skies and warm temperatures had children enjoying the fountain at Main Street Square this afternoon. And why not? Bob comes in next with a look at your weekend weather forecast right here on News Center 1 at 10. Jeffy1016 posted, Works hard, promotion, time to play hard. Hashtag upgrade my car. Congrats, Jeffy. Now's the time to hit the Honda Summer Clearance event. You can get a great deal on the Honda Accord from KBB.com's best overall brand. With rear view camera and text message reader standard, it's the perfect upgrade. Awesome. Go, Jeffy. Go, Jeffy. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance event for a great deal on your new Honda. Add comfort to your home with Hunter Ceiling Fans from Menards. This 52-inch insignia comes in a new bronze or an antique pewter finish with alabaster glass. It's just $99 each. Save energy with Fight LED Light Bulbs. All stock Fight LED Light Bulbs are on sale. This dimmable LED light bulb replaces a 75-watt incandescent, just $7.99. This dimmable flood LED bulb can replace a 65-watt incandescent. A two-pack is only $14.99. Save big money at Menards. They come from different worlds, each with a particular set of skills. Midco Extreme Internet, Midco Preferred Cable. Agents on a not-so-secret mission to save the world from slow internet and bad cable. But at only 89 bucks a month for 12 months, there's a price on their heads. Don't miss this blockbuster event. Click happiestdevices.com. Through Monday at Carpet One, buy one foot of carpet or hard surface flooring products and get one foot free. Choose from a select group of carpet, hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl plank, tile, and carpet remnants. Beautiful colors and styles. Buy one, get one free with prices starting at just 99 cents per square foot. Buy one foot at Carpet Mart's regular price and get one foot free. Plus, there's 24 months no interest financing available. Don't wait. Buy one foot, get one foot free sale through Monday at Carpet One, Mount Rushmore Road, Rapid City. Synchrony Financial. Engage with a call center team that makes customers smile. Engage with a job where great benefits are only one of the benefits. Engage with us. We're now hiring for call center positions in Rapid City. Learn more and apply at SynchronyCareers.com. That's S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y Careers.com. Or text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Again, text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Engage with us. This weather brought to you by Black Hills Power. This is New Center One. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. All right, here's the weather almanac. Once again, 88. That's normal for this time of the year. That's our high, 54. The low, just slightly below where it should be. And the sun will be coming up. 539, 818, the sun goes down. So I'm, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do, folks? So you probably don't, don't care, but I'm going to get up really early around 6. I'm going to try a little fly fishing tomorrow. I'm going to go out to Rapid Creek. The, the creek's down. I don't know if you noticed that, but the creek is way down. I'm going to get up early and try a little fly fishing. All right, what do we have here? 68, winds are out of the south. They're light, clear skies. Uh, that was out at the airport. Custer, 66, a little bit cooler, not much, though. Clear skies over in beautiful downtown Custer. Winds are out of the east there at 5. Here are some of the high temperatures across the uh, country. 90s. Boy, there's a slew of 90s everywhere, as you can see here. 94 in Memphis, 93 
Atlanta, a few uh, triple digits, uh, Phoenix 110, and Midland almost made it, uh, 99 and Midland, but you look at over here in the Northwest, 94 Seattle, 95 uh, Salt Lake City, 96 Billings, uh, 93 Sacramento, there's some record high temperatures across the uh, Northwest, so they're dealing with the heat. Uh, the uh, Southwest dealing with these monsoonal showers, again, uh, flood uh, advisories across uh, northern New Mexico, even into Arizona. And uh, uh, they were over Southern California yesterday. It looks like things have dried up a little bit in that uh, part of the estate. And tomorrow, another day, we'll have uh, plenty of sunshine uh, tomorrow. No problems there. Temperatures are a little bit warmer than today. Not much, though. And then more monsoonal showers down over the uh, desert southwest. Uh, Sunday, uh, uh, it's going to be even warmer yet on Sunday. We're, uh, we got 94, I believe, is the high. It could be even higher than that. Because as, as this uh, front out of, uh, out, of, out of Canada comes a little bit closer to us, that's going to increase this westerly flow. And when we get that westerly flow, our temperature is going to go up. So 94, maybe some communities, uh, possibly in the upper 90s on Sunday. It's going to be hot. Uh, the upper levels support that as well. Here's the ridging going on. We march right on through the weekend into the early part of uh, next week. And you can see the, the ridging uh, intensifies a little bit over the uh, Plain States, and that includes the uh, Black Hills. So temperature is definitely going to be warming up tomorrow and Sunday, and we'll have some warm temperatures uh, on Monday. But this whole thing collapses as we work our way through uh, Rally Week. You can see the jet is now down to the, uh, just to the south of uh, Rapid City or, or the Black Hills. That's going to allow a little, uh, some cooler air to push into the uh, Black Hills, plus this little dip in the jet stream, a little bit of instability. So we'll, we'll see some showers. Oh, you can bet on that. We'll have some showers and thunderstorms. Right now, the best chances looks like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, some uh, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. As a matter of fact, early tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., possibility of an isolated uh, shower. I have that in the forecast for tonight. And tomorrow, lots of sunshine, though. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Jump on your bikes. Enjoy the Black Hills. Just enjoy the Black Hills. Enjoy the Badlands. Head on off to the east end of the Badlands. Gorgeous. Highway 44. That's a nice little ride, folks, let me tell you. Sunday, again, lots of sunshine. Temperatures uh, continue to warm up. Right on through the uh, weekend, and we got some high temperatures uh, today across the estate, upper 80s, lower 90s, uh, high temperatures uh, tomorrow, we'll see some 90s around the Black Hills and uh, warmer temperatures all up and down the Missouri River, a little bit cooler over East River, and then Sunday, again, temperatures generally in the 90s. All right, here's the forecast for Saturday. 90 Spearfish, uh, 86 Custer, 92 Pine Ridge, 92 Newcastle, Hill City, 80, uh, 87, uh, 95 Belfouche, 92 uh, Sturgis, and 92 at the Chip. The forecast for tonight, we have that, 63, mostly clear, mild, isolated uh, uh, storm after midnight. Don't be surprised if you hear a clap of a thunder as that little isolated storm develops, primarily over the southern hills. 94 tomorrow, lots of sunshine, sunny and hot. I want everybody to listen up. I want you to all ride safely. I mean, don't, there's no need to take those corners at breakneck speed. Just take those corners easily. 62 uh, tomorrow night, mostly clear and mild. It should be a delightful evening. Seven-day forecast, uh, what do we got here? We got 94 on Sunday, 88 on Monday. And then you can see those cooler temperatures, lower 80s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, 79 on Friday, oh my goodness. And the chance for showers, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, we'll have some showers. We always do, we always will, and this uh, week is no exception. ClickMcDeals.com, oh boy, this one sold out uh, quickly. You get 18 holes, half a cart rental, range balls for just 30 bucks. It's typically uh, $60 at Meadowbrook Golf Course, but you could have got it for 30 if you're a member of Click Big Deals. And if you got up early, like five minutes yeah. after six, you know, and be the first one in line to get these things. There you go. Like sometimes, sometimes you've got to do that. And, yeah. and just a note, if you're a, a biker, if you're a motorcyclist who's just yeah. rolled into town for the 75th uh, up in Sturgis, you should know that this weatherman right here is going to always have your biker-friendly forecast because he's a dedicated and seasoned <laughs> Harley rider in his own right. Uh, Isn't that right, Bob? Well, yes, in a sense. Yeah, I'll be out Sunday. I'm going to yep. go out Monday as well. Well, so. And I know that uh, you, you make your way through the hills pretty frequently, yeah. so you might see, see folks out there too. Still to come, Post 22 moving one step closer to winning its 40th state title, plus the top two teams in the NH, or excuse me, the NL East opening a three game series tonight. Justin has scores and highlights next in New Center One Sports. 
If your child ever asks you where do sandwiches come from, tell them the truth. Look them straight in the eyes and tell them sandwiches come from Arby's. And if they ask where the loaded Italian and its many meats come from, kindly respond. What part of Arby's didn't you understand, Giuseppe? The new loaded Italian sandwich. Arby's, we have the meat. Carly posts. Breaking up with the longest relationship I've ever had. Hashtag sad but true. Good riddance, Carly. Hashtag 96 months too long. Oh, the car. Right. Well, now's the perfect time to head over to the Honda Summit Clearance event. We've got great deals on the Honda Civic, the best-selling car in its class. So ditch that loser. Hey. Still talking about the car. Oh. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance Event for a great deal on your new Honda. As your journey takes you on Highway 16, make sure to visit these great places. The Christmas Village is a true Christmas store with a whole lot more. We even carry the area's largest selection of licensed NFL and MLB ornaments and collectibles. At Independent Hall, home of the Founding Fathers exhibit, you can experience the Declaration of Independence and meet the 56 men who pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to give America its freedom. Thank you for making Highway 16 a stop on your vacation or getaway excursion. There are buckets full of savings this Friday and Saturday at Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Grab a five-gallon bucket, then stuff it to the top. Save 15% off regular priced power tools, housewares, garden supplies, sporting goods, and more. Every department, all throughout the store. If it fits in the bucket, you save. Spend five or more dollars and get the bucket free. One bucket per customer. The Bucket Sale at Runnings. Your home, farm, and outdoor store. This is New Center One Sports with Justin Wickersham. Heading into the final month of racing at Black Hill Speedway, the championship point battles are heating up. In fact, less than 25 points separate the top drivers in six of the seven classes. Let's take you out to Black Hill Speedway for another Friday night of action. In the only heat race in the Hobby Stocks division, Dallas Porter held off current points leader John Garrigan and grabbed the victory. Porter entered tonight in second place, just 14 points behind Garrigan. Moving on to the street stocks now, Troy Murner cruised to a win in the first heat. Murner was sixth in the standings coming into tonight's races. And a close race in heat number two, but it was Warren Puyer of Kyle taking the checkered flag ahead of Leonard Ferguson and the current points leader Andy Fitzgerald of Rapid City. Then in the Midwest Modifieds, Jesse Horse picked up the win in the division's only heat race. Chad Horse finished second. And just a reminder, Black Hill Speedway will host the AMA Pro Motorcycle Flat Track Races on Tuesday, August 4th, starting at 7 o'clock. Meanwhile in baseball, the American Legion State Tournament rolled on today in Brookings. Post-22 squared off against Yankton tonight in the semifinals. An RBI double by Eric Petrie helped lift Post-22 over Yankton by a final score of 5-2. The Hard Hats will play Sioux Falls West tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Earlier this afternoon, there were two, two more elimination games. Rapid City Post-320 squared off against Brookings in the first contest. The Stars gave up eight runs in the fourth inning and could never recover after that, as Post-320 lost 14 to seven. In the other matchup, Sioux Falls West eliminated Pierre by a final score of 9-1. to one. Shifting gears to men's basketball now, seven scholar athletes from the South Dakota School of Mines men's basketball team were named to the honor court by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. They include Jordan Dick, uh, Connor Coolis, Mark Mazuko, Joe Newkirk, Philip Shanilek, Justin Schock, and Tyler Schoening. To qualify for the award, the student-athletes must be a junior or senior and have a GPA of 3.2 or higher. Factor in that they're, they're allowed to practice 20 hours a week, uh, not to mention any traveling that they may do during the season and game time. Um, you throw 15 hours a week in of, of classes and you throw the study time in. Uh, our scholar-athletes here at at South Dakota School of Mines are putting in anywhere between 60 to 65, maybe 70 hours a week. On the diamond this evening, the Mets opened a three-game set with the Washington Nationals. It was scoreless until the fourth inning. Finally, Wilmer Flores rips one off of Ian Desmond's glove. Juan Uribe comes around to score, and the Mets get on the scoreboard. And the top of the 11th now with a tie at one apiece. Bryce Harper thinks the pitch is outside, but the umpire rings him up. 
As you can see, Harper starts arguing, and that's a ticket to the showers as he's ejected. Moving on to the bottom of the 12th now, Flores, who thought he was traded just a few days ago, he hits a leadoff home run here, and the Mets go on to win by a final score of 2-1. to one. And around the league tonight, Arizona escaped with a 6-4 win over Houston in 10 innings. Plus, the Dodgers lead the Angels by a score of 5-2 in the 7th inning. Also this evening, Josh Donaldson singled home Troy Tulowitzki in the 11th inning. And the Blue Jays rallied to beat the Royals 7-6. And Nelson Cruz had four hits to help lead Seattle over Minnesota by a final score of 6-1. And finally in the National League tonight, the St. Louis Cardinals shut out the Colorado Rockies by a score of 7-0. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back in a moment. We've got the area's largest selection of carpet and floors. Plus, our Shop at Home mobile service brings our store right to your door. Shop smart, buy smarter with Flooring America. What's in store this school year? You're rocking a new backpack. Epic! Even your supplies are amped up. Shopco's Back to School Sale is here with super cool notebooks. Only 19 cents. Crayola and Elmer's, obviously, only 50 cents each. And all these awesome school supplies, 99 cents each. Plus 50% off fashion backpacks. Need that. One, two, three. The Back to School Sale is so on. Head to Shopco, right? The biggest Honda event of the year, the Honda Summer Clearance Event, is on at Rushmore Honda. The 2016s are rolling in. We've clearance priced over 100 new Hondas. Buy a new 15 Civic LX, 18995 or a new 15 Accord LX, 21995 1.9% APR financing for up to 72 months is available. Plus, check out the new 2016s. The Pilot and HRV are in stock now. Shop early for best selection during the Honda Summer Clearance. Expect more, get more at Rushmore Honda. Online at RushmoreHonda.com. Anniversary to me. It's Safeway's anniversary. Happy anniversary to me. But you're the one who's going to save some serious money. Happy anniversary to me. Now with your club card, ribeye steak in the value pack is $5.88 a pound. Pepsi 24 packs are $4.99. And 59 ounce Tropicana orange juice is $1.99. Happy anniversary to me. Safeway's anniversary sale. It's huge. It's a new day. KNBN, we love you guys. Thank you very much. Make your morning with the NBC and News Center One Today teams. Weekdays from 5 to 11 a.m. Our very own chief meteorologist, Bob Reggio, sitting directly here to my right, is looking for the best burger in the nation at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. The Weber Big Bur Burger Battle is taking, <laughs> say that 10 times fast, is taking place next week in Sturgis. For the second year in a row, Bob Reggio will be judging the cook-off challenge. The public invited to the grill-off, which starts Monday at 10 a.m. The address in Sturgis, 1402 Lizelle Street, and you can go online to newscenter1.tv and click on contests. That'll enter you to win a free grill courtesy of New Center One and the fine folks at Weber will announce the winners Tuesday morning right here on New Center One today. Quick look, it'll be warming up through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine showers middle of next week. And that'll do it for us right here. Have a great night. Be safe. Now, what could be better than the simple, worry-free car buying of one Liberty dealership? How about the simple, worry-free car buying of two Liberty dealerships? With five different manufacturers at two convenient locations in Rapid City, you'll be sure to find exactly what you're looking for at Liberty Superstore. That's two Liberty locations, just a stone's throw away. But don't, don't throw any stones at us. Liberty Superstores. Simple, worry-free car buying. We're here on the streets of Nashville, introducing people to Culver's fresh frozen custard. How are you guys liking the frozen custard? So it's got rich, fresh dairy, and that's what gives it that really creamy texture. One word to describe it. Craveable. Very smooth. Perfect. Better than ice cream. Creamy and cool. That's nice. Be a custard hero. Introduce somebody to Culver's Fresh Frozen Custard. It almost tastes like it's homemade. I think somebody loves it. It's good. Welcome to Delicious.
The carnival's coming to town, and you don't have to miss a single ride with a Big D Mega Pass. Get your week-long wristband for just $39 and ride Monday through Friday. Or upgrade to the Big D Never Say No Super Pass for just $79 and double the fun for all 10 days with no restrictions. That's two big ways to save at the Central States Fair with Big D. Get your pass today at any Big D location. And ride all week long at the Central States Fair, August 14th through 23rd in Rapid City. Introducing the new Can-Am Spider F3. With a cruising riding position and the most advanced vehicle stability system in the industry, you'll ride with a feeling of complete freedom and confidence. Visit your Can-Am Spider dealer and test drive one today. The new Spider F3. Riding has evolved. Rice Honda Suzuki in Rapid City. Test ride one today. <laughs> 